Building multi-agent system in LangGraph is easier than you think. Let me show you how to build this two-agent single tool system in three minutes. Overall, there's three steps to building this system. Step one, we create our developer environment with UV. Second, we use code that I provide. It's 35 simple lines of code to get the bare minimum multi-agent system running. And finally, we launch LangGraph Studio to use the agent and also debug it. To start off, we'll need to run UV init multi-agent or whatever you want to name the project. Then we'll CD into that directory. And then we need to do UV add all the dependencies. Here's a complete list. Now I'm going to create a .env file to store my NVIDIA API key like this. If you need an NVIDIA API key, go to build.nvidia.com, create a free account, click your avatar up here, then click API keys. Now click the big green button, follow the prompts in the wizard that you see here. Paste the key from build.nvidia.com in your .env file and save it. Run this curl command to download the most simple multi-agent LangGraph Python file. Gonna vim it just for a quick look-see to make sure it's actually downloaded. Here's that code in my own GitHub repository. I also have a notebook version of the exact same code. Now it's time to create our LangGraph.json. This is the configuration that LangGraph Studio will use to run your multi-agent system within the UI. And finally, the moment we're waiting for, UV run LangGraph.dev is going to run the LangGraph Studio. You click the second link at the top of the output, and here we have it. Here is our multi-agent LangGraph application. To demo the application, I'm going to put in this what are average sales prompt. That way we have some input and output and we can look at the flow of the information or the flow of the state in the multi-agent system. Now that we have a trace, I'm going to click back to the graph view and over here I'm going to click trace and we'll get the waterfall view of the entire flow of the multi-agent system. Now that you're here, you can kind of dig into the input and output of each agent, the tool, and how everything worked. I hope you find this useful. Check out my full-length tutorial on how to do this with more in-depth details. Hope to see you there. Cheers and happy coding.